Hi, this is Richard from Boat Fittings, and today in this video we're looking at bilge pumps and how they operate and how to wire them. So we're going to start with this simple bilge pump, which is a manual bilge pump, just two wires to worry about. And we're also going to look at this automatic bilge pump, which has a built-in float switch, and how to integrate that with this switch panel, which has a facility for manual operation and automatic operation. So first off we're looking at this manual bilge pump, these come in different sizes, this is a 500 gallons per hour pump and they all tend to be very similar. This bottom bit comes off, this is where you attach it with these screw holes down to the bottom of the boat and inside there's this impeller which needs to turn in a certain direction. So the only reason to say that is it's important that the positive wire goes to the positive 12 volts and the negative wire goes to, to negative or, or earth. What we're doing today is using a electronic power supply. Put that on the negative, that on the positive and hey presto, it turns. Simple as that. So this is a very simple operation, you know, just a simple circuit. It's either on or off. We, in a separate video, we will look at how to attach these to a float switch. Now this bilge pump is a automatic bilge pump. So it has a 2000 gallons per hour model and in the bottom of it, it has a built-in float switch. So we can unclip this base. This is the bit that you'd attach down to the bottom of the bilge. And inside here, we've got the impeller, but also we've got a float switch in here. And you can probably see if that goes up and down. So when the water level gets to a certain level, it activates the float switch and turns the pump on. And this pump has three wires, which can be a little bit confusing. The simple bit first, the negative goes to the negative wire. And it has two ways we can operate this pump. If we apply 12 volts to this uh, Brown with this wire with a stripe it's just on all the time so that's manual mode you're forcing the pump to be on and if we put 12 volts to this other brown wire then at the minute nothing's happening this is simulating there's no water in the bilge if the bilge fills up and then the water activates the float switch so we'll just turn that upside down in a clonk and then it turns on with the activation from the float switch. And that turns off again when the water's pumped out. So that is the purpose of these two positive wires. This one with the stripe is for manual operation. This one without the stripe is for automatic operation. And what we need to talk about now is how we actually integrate that into your boat wiring. So for wiring of the automatic bilge pump, we are using in this case the Seaflow um, switch which has a built-in fuse and the actual switch has a off position in the middle, position to the right which is automatic operation and to the left which is just a temporary press and hold uh, for manual operation. And with the switch comes a set of these kind of jump wires and a instruction manual so it's all it's all laid out in the instruction manual how to wire it up but I know it, it can be a bit tricky to figure out things from the instruction manual so hence this video to show you how we wired it up and how to get it working well so we've got this uh, fuse panel box at the back and the, and the switch part we've taken the, the the red wire goes from the load uh, side of the fuse uh, box to the middle uh, it's, it's labeled 20 amps 10 amps uh, spade terminal on the switch and then this set of negative uh, jumps go um, across these these two terminals here at the top which are labeled number four and number six and then leaving this free lead and at this point, before I connect everything up, I'm just going to uh, do some preparation on this end so we've got something to work with. But this is how it comes out of the box. Okay, so what I just did is I prepared a little bit of this 
uh, wire to give us a bit more room. I prepared a positive feed wire which uh, has a spade connector soldered on. I prefer to solder them rather than crimp because it's more reliable in the long run. And I put some spade terminals again soldered onto the bilge pump to two positive feeds. So the stripy one was the manual operation one and the non-stripy one was the automatic uh, operation one. So what we're going to do is put the negative feed uh, from the bilge pump together with this negative from the switch panel. I would be using proper connectors obviously if I was putting it on a boat and soldering things. But for the purposes of demonstration today I'm going to twist those together apply them to the negative feed from the battery. The stripy positive from the bilge pump goes to this corner here. The plain brown wire goes to this other one on this um, switch part of the panel. And then the red feed goes to the input on the uh, fuse side. So in theory that's all ready to go. Nothing's on at the moment, the switch is in the middle off position. If I push it to the manual side, we're manually operating the pump, we get a nice little red glow on the switch, and if you can see that, and that's a momentary, you've got to hold it to activate, and it turns off if you don't keep it held on. So that's manually operating the pump. And if we go to put, put the switch the other way, we're on automatic operation, we get a green light just to indicate that the switch is it's, it's on and it's ready to pump out any water if the bilge fills up with water. At the moment there's no water in the bilge. If we simulate water by turning it over so the float switch operates and it kicks into operation. Back again and it's off again. So that's that's how we wire up the automatic bilge pumps with the C-Flow uh, switch system. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have, um, it'd be great if you could hit the like button. Also, we will be doing another video shortly on how to use the manual uh, style of bilge pump with our float switches and again how to wire in with the Seaflow uh, switch panel. So if you would like to subscribe to our channel, um, we'll, you'll see that video shortly. Just to say, all of these products can be purchased from our website, boatfittings.co.uk. Um, thank you for watching.